Hey, Reef DVM's coming at you today with smoking some deer sausage on the farm. And this year we're going to do it in a new Master Built Sportsman Elite Smoker. Uh, picked one of these up on uh, kind of an Orange Friday deal at Fleet Farm. Just a nice smoker that my relatives have. They've had good luck with it. I've got some neighbors that have this smoker. Uh, everybody seems to like this little electric smoker, so it's about time that I, you know, uh, ditch the old uh, charcoal stuff and uh, that I've been borrowing from some friends and uh, switch over to an electric smoker and get it done. I, I kind of enjoy making uh, summer sausage for the family. We get our deer, we grind a lot of it into hamburger and use it that way, but um, we do like summer sausage and of course you can have it processed at a you know, professional location in town and, and they certainly do an excellent job. Um, their product is, is spot on, but you know, it's a little bit pricey and sometimes you kind of like to save some money and do it yourself, so invested in one of these smokers and it did take me a little time to kind of put the thing together. It, it came packaged very nicely. It uh, was very clean when it came. Obviously being a smoker I'm going to make it a you know piggy mess so you know, it's not going to stay clean while I own the machine. <laughs> um, in this situation here for um, summer sausage, believe it or not I actually like to use um, apple wood chips so I'm going to season this thing up once I get it together here. It, took me, oh, I don't know, maybe a half hour and decide not to bore you with all the uh, setup on it. But once I got it all set up, I kicked this thing outside the barn and, you know, put some wood chips in it and turn the temperature up and really kind of season in the beast and get her to start working. And boy, it was, it's really easy. I mean, uh, it actually seasoned up a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, being electric, you could set the temperature up there about, you know, 225 to 250 and really kind of get this little beast going. It's got plenty of room in it for what I want to do, which is basic summer sausage type work. Maybe some bratwurst in the future, maybe turkey or chicken or something like that. So it's, it's a nice little smoker. It uh, really kind of a compact little unit. And like I said, had pretty good reviews and my relatives like it, so that's good enough for me. So let's take this thing outside here and uh, let's get this thing smoking a bit. The one accessory I did buy though is also a wireless thermometer. Um, I do think that's a, a good thing so you can actually tell the temperature of the meat. So got this baby outside and started seasoning it up, turning on the heat on this thing and just, you know, really kind of cooking it with some apple chips to kind of get everything baked out of the inside and get the nice smoky smell inside the machine. Certainly not going to bore you with all the details here of me trying to set it up and get used to the buttons and stuff, but it was you know, fairly simple. Um, I'm going to jump kind of right into the, to the making of the sausage part um, while this thing heats up, you know, I'm going to drop the temperature probe in it and I'm just going to kind of push it up to the level I want and you know this little wireless thermometer is going to kind of be nice because while I'm in there making sausage and stuff or working on other stuff I can clip this thing to my belt and you know kind of get it to where I want which is you know really kind of a cool thing I think the company who makes this is Charbroil and this device costs like I don't know $35 at Fleet Farm just a nice handy tool and of course it gives me the ability to stick the thermometer right into the, the summer sausage so while I'm cooking it I'll know when I get to that, you know, 166 degrees mark where I want to be. Everybody's recipe for making summer sausage is a little different. Um, I guess the biggest concern that I have is making sure you're using a curing salt and, you know, not giving yourself botulism. <laughs> you know, uh, cooking these things in a smoker, you know, between 150 and 165 degrees, you can certainly get yourself sick. Um, so the curing salts to me are pretty important. Um, found out, um, you know, that, uh, you know, depending upon style and technique, um, you know, that for us, you know, probably about a three to four hour smoke works really good. So I'm hoping it'll work good with this new smoker. So the first thing we do is is, is trim up some deer meat. And uh, we took some hind quarters of our, our deer that we shot uh, in the previous video and sliced it up so that we can get it, uh, you know, ground up and made into summer sausage. Um, we needed 18 pounds of deer meat um, because we're going to add some pork to it. And we're going to make a 25 pound batch. 25 pounds of summer sausage is quite a bit of summer sausage. It'll probably last us most of the year. Um, and it, it'll taste great. Uh, we freeze ours, so keep it frozen. I like to use uh, some pork. Um, here I've got actually quite a bit of pork because I'm making more sausage than just summer sausage. But I am going to take this pork butt and uh, cut it up the way I want. And I'm going to cut out 7 pounds of it. I'm going to add to that to the 18 pounds of deer meat, and that's how I'm going to get my 25-pound uh, mix. Now, everybody likes to cut their pork a little differently. Um, you know, this one's got a bone in it, so I want to take that out so I can make 
split pea soup with it with the wife inside during the winter months so we're going to save that then we're basically just going to slice it up just like the deer and I mix it all together and I grind it all together um, I just think it's better flavor when it's all put together some people you know age their pork and age their deer um, I don't uh, basically I shoot the deer hang it and dress it the next day and then cut it the next as far as seasonings go, you know, you can make your own seasoning mix. I personally like to buy mine as a kit. Um, it's all pre-made. Uh, I'll show you the recipe here. You can go online and buy it for, you know, anywhere between 7 and $25. I like to take my seasoning mixes and mix them into water and make a brine out of them and let them soak and dissolve for maybe a half hour or so before I use them. I think that helps just you know get that into the meat and and get it into the mix when you start the grinding process um, the particular recipe I, I tend to like um, it comes from um, the sausage people online uh, I certainly can maybe get you that email post if people want it but the reason I like this recipe is it's pretty bland uh, for me which is what I like and I really don't like MSG in my spice seasoning and they make a good one without it and, and the cure is a maple cure and I, I definitely like that too so here I'm just pulling out the scale and making sure I weigh my meat properly. I don't really want to screw this up. I want to make sure I get 25 pounds of meat for my mix because that's what my seasoning and my maple cure is based upon. And it all, you know, like I said, came in a package. I put it in water and I've got that soaking right now. So basically what I'm doing is just getting my meat up to the right poundage and then I'm going to grind it. Everybody likes to grind probably a little differently. I like my coarse grind. Um, it's like a number eight, I think. Uh, I put it through my, my lean uh, one horsepower grinder and it just makes quick work of it. Probably can grind up 25 pounds of meat in like 15 minutes or less. Once I get it ground up, uh, I like to add about you know half of my, uh, my seasoning mix to it and then mix it around a little bit by hand and then add the other half. Uh, the seasoning mix has you know a cure in it so it'll take this bright fresh meat and kind of turn it into a little bit more of a brown color don't don't let that scare you folks that's part of the the cure that's in that it just it's the way the salts work okay um, once I get done mixing it up I actually take it and uh, kind of pack it into a, a, a container and um, I'll let that sit in the fridge for about an hour and just kind of marinate if you want to call it that and then I do one final mix to make sure it's mixed up I, I throw it into my big Cabela's mixer and I have a big hand mixer here and it just for my sake, I like to mix it one more time. I want to make sure all that pork fat and stuff is all in there. I want to make sure all my seasonings got everywhere. As you can see, it's not bright red anymore. It's starting to turn nice and brown. Once it gets that brown color, then I'm going to put it into my stuffer. And I have a big electric stuffer. But you also can use um, your meat grinder with the tube on it. Um, because we're going to put this into two and a half inch casings, which are fairly wide casings, you don't have to use an electric or hand stuffer. You can use your meat grinder and put it in. Um, I like it to be nice and brown like this and nice and cured. Put it up on the stuffer with my wife and put that big two and a half inch casing on it. These happen to be, uh, I think, 20 inch casings. And pop these devils out. Um, I'm trying the whole 20 inches in the smoker this year because it's a new smoker and I want to see how it does. I pack these things fairly tight because I found in the past that once I smoke them, they tend to dry out a little bit and shrink down. So I do push my casings because these are the more, you know, just um, more synthetic casings for summer sausage because I don't eat it anyways. I just cut the casing off. And, you know, this batch is going to take, oh, probably it's going to make maybe 10 to 15 of these big 20-inch logs when you make 25 pounds of this stuff. And I, I'm going to plan to put about eight of them in the smoker at a time and see how it does and I am crimping these with the metal end crimps some people don't some people tie them I have the tie on one side a string tie on one side so I can hang them in the smoker and then I have the crimper on the other side um, I'm gonna try one batch of hanging them I'm gonna try one batch of laying them on the racks too I just wanna kinda see how the smoker works um, but but stuffing here is a piece of cake folks you slide the stuff onto your tube and this is an electric stuffer with a foot pedal and you just push the pedal and out comes the stuff I get it nice and taut and then you know basically crimp it off. That's basically us making summer sauces. It's maybe a two three hour process and then we hit the smoker. Um, I like to start the smoking at about 140 degrees for that first hour with a lot of wood chips um, and I use the apple ones. Here we're just getting it up to temperature. 
Um, I add the meat, like I said, for that first hour at 140. Then I turn around for two more hours at about 165. And that last half hour, I push it to about 185 temp, just until I see 166 on the internal temperature in my summer sausage. And then I yank it out, throw it in an ice bath for about 10 minutes, stop that cooking process, cool that meat down as quick as I can, and then right after that ice bath, I wipe them down with a towel, and throw them into the freezer. I know they look a little crinkly in their casings. They've shrunk down a little bit, but I've stopped that cooking process fast. I've gotten them cold. I've got the curing salts in there with a trusted recipe that's been on the farm for a while, and it makes a great summer sausage, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Always use a curing salt. And again, like or subscribe to our channel. We'll keep putting out great videos like this um, on the aquariums and the farm and the farm life that we live. Thank you, folks.